Now you can see the pod placement. The next thing you do is you bring your finger up and you hit 2CM geometry. Now it's going to show the slab and the parts. And now the laser is projecting those parts. We're going to insert this slab onto the bed so we can cut it with a CNC. Let's do it, boys. I mean, I realize to some of you, this seems kind of crazy. It did to me at first, but I really do think it's going to work. And start tilting. Now, as we tilt the slab, you'll actually be able to see the laser and the perimeter of the material start to project onto the slab itself. Now we're going to bring the slab down onto the pod. Are we... I don't know if you can see the laser being projected or not. We can float part to align it. Now we've got the slab position. One of the unique advantages of the Northwood CNC, it's not unique to all CNCs, but you can actually float the part. What they're going to do now is go over and push the float part button, and what it does is it reverses the airflow through the pods. The pod will actually, the slab will actually float on the pods like a hockey puck on a hockey table. What they're going to do is line the slab up to the grid that we drew that represents the perimeter of the material. As you can see, there's no effort to move that slab. This is where the advantage of having a large open machine really comes into play. You can load parts with very little effort. Okay, now we're done adjusting the part. It's where we want it. I don't know if you can see the laser or not, but for us it's pretty easy to see the parts fit fine. Jake's gonna go over, we've checked our vacuum gauges, we've got good pressure, everything looks like it needs to. We got a brand new finger bit on the machine right there. That's a little cheap Chinese finger bit, so if it blows up, we know what happened. Hit cycle start, and that's gonna make our machine go pick up that finger bit and cut up an entire slab with a CNC. Now if you notice, I took the water protecting shroud off the front of the machine. That was specifically so that we could watch the finger bit do this bizarre operation. Now, have your hand on the speed knob. It's going to go over, it should clear the slab, and it did. And it's going to go in, slow down the feed rate. And we're going to cut up an entire kitchen with a finger bit. Wow, that sounds crazy. <laughs> One of the things we've discovered is that it actually throws chunk of, chunks of stone as it goes along the edge of the slab. But we're cutting it. I didn't say it was going to be pretty, but I think it's going to work. traveling right down through the middle of that slab to cut out that first part. We're cutting at about, what speed rate are we at? Give me, hit the position button. We're cutting at 18 inches a minute. That's actually faster than a water jet if you think about it. This is obviously going to take a while, so I'm going to pause it now. We're now cutting at 22 inches a minute. 
pulling 10 amps. As you can see now, we've actually come along to making that part. There it is, making the corner. We're just moving right along, just like my brother in Norway. This is actually kind of cool. There we go, we're going into a 90 degree cut right now. So far we've been running this machine for six and a half minutes. We're about halfway done with the first part. Now, if we were cutting three centimeter tropical brown, we'd be moving a lot slower. We're cutting 2CM New Venetian Gold, and this stuff does cut like butter. This is a beautiful thing. I learned something today, courtesy of a customer from Medford, Oregon. I've been humbled, and I love it. Perfect parts, my brother. Perfect parts. Look at my night crew. They're stunned too, I can tell. <laughs> One thing that we've discovered is that as it gets to the outside edge of the slab without having a ton of pods under it, it makes a lot of harmonics and sounds like a total freak show. I don't think it's going to hurt anything, it just sounds crazy. We have been cutting 11 minutes, 10 minutes and 58 seconds. We are coming down the home stretch on our first part. We're now coming out of the first cut. The first part is complete. The machine, if everything goes right, should now exit, come over to this side, and it's going to enter where those little circles are is where the finger bit's going to come down. Boom! Money! Oh, yeah! And now we're cutting again. That first part is just about 12 minutes to cut. This one's going to take about probably 15 or 16 minutes. It's a big, big part. But this is really cool, gentlemen. You actually could cut up kitchens with a CNC machine. I'm convinced. If you want to make a whole boatload of money kitchen, cutting kitchens, you need to get you one of these saw jets. But if you want to start out small, you can do it this way. You can see chunks of rock falling off the perimeter of the slab as it cuts out these parts. I was skeptical. Now I'm a believer. I'm impressed. That batch took exactly 25 minutes and 10 seconds or so.